I would call Paul Ryan Mr. Popular. He's the one guy right now that seems like he can unite the conservative part of the party with the establishment wing of the party. Everybody knows him, obviously, from his 2012 campaign for vice president. He's got conservative bona fides specifically on fiscal issues. Uh, he's somebody who, at least for now, both sides seem like they can be comfortable with. The question really for Paul Ryan is, if he doesn't want to be speaker, should he do it? Could Paul Ryan get the House Freedom guys? Yeah, I think Paul can get everybody. Trey Gowdy is Paul Ryan light. You know, if you're looking for somebody who could potentially unite the conservative wing of the party with the more establishment-oriented folks in that caucus, Gowdy is somebody who has shown an ability to do that. He's seen as a serious policymaker, as a good messenger, uh, but like Paul Ryan, he is reluctant to take this on. I said that I would support the nominee on the floor, but we don't yet have a nominee. So the fact that it's delayed, I will continue to, to campaign. Jason Chaffetz is the wild card here. You know, Chaffetz has some ties to the conservative wing of the party. He's tied to the establishment as well, having been chairman of the House Oversight Committee. At the same time, he's a very young member. He hasn't been around for that long. He's not necessarily seen as a heavyweight when it comes to the things that a speaker would necessarily have to do. There's a frustration out there, a real frustration out there with voters and that nothing's getting done in Washington. Jim Jordan is the conservative alternative. He's a guy who's done uh, work with the conservative wing of the party heading the Republican Study Committee. Uh, he's well regarded in that portion of the party. He's at times clashed with the party leadership on certain issues. Uh, but I have to wonder if his appeal would really be able to expand to the establishment wing of the party. Dan Webster is the unlikely usurper. Uh, he's not really a Tea Party guy necessarily, but he became the Tea Party's pick for speaker, both uh, in opposition to John Boehner and in, in opposition to Kevin McCarthy. Uh, he does have leadership experience before in the Florida State Legislature, but he's not necessarily a down-the-line, hard-line conservative like the Tea Party faction of the Republican Party would want right now.